Hi, my name's Keith Cooper, Northlight Images. Um, in this short video, this is a quick look at the third of three papers that Hannah Muller have launched recently and asked me if I wouldn't mind having a look at. Now, that's partly due to the fact I've got what is still one of the few P5300 printers here in the UK um, and still has a bit of ink left in it. I'm testing this for a review. I'm not going to really show aspects of the printing of this because I'm looking more at the paper. But what I would notice, this particular paper, is Hannah Muller's Everyday Inkjet Paper. Now, Everyday Inkjet Paper, um, what's the point between it? Well. If you look at it, what it's the name for, it's Hannah Muller Photo Sustainable Photo Satin. One of the problems I have, um, it's not a big problem, but it's an annoyance, is that a lot of prints I make and things, I do a lot of testing, and there's a lot of photo papers you can't recycle. This photo, and this is a satin photo paper, and it has a soft sheen. Now I will cut in bits of uh, video I've shot on the phone to try and give you a better feel for the texture and the surface of this. It's very difficult showing things like this in video, but um, it's a luster finish. Well, sorry, it's a satin finish. The difference that luster has a bit more texture, I believe. But then these are just marketing terms anyway. So they, they all mean sort of not obviously glossy. Now this is quite a dull gloss. Uh, colour reproduction is excellent, the coating on it is fine. It is 220 grams, which is relatively light, um, but it's quite a thick paper because it's actually on a paper or fibre base. So rather than the normal back of these photos, which you get, which is, um, you know, polyethylene or a plastic of some sort, these are you, these prints, when I decide I don't want them, they could go in the recycling bin rather than needing cutting up and, and disposing of in other ways. Um, that's useful to know, um, but I'm afraid if I'm doing photo prints for business, it comes down to, is, do the prints look good enough? And yes, they do. Um, I say it's a soft finish. Uh, the gloss is not intrusive. Now I'll move it around here a bit and as I say some examples so you can get an idea of the sort of gloss from the lighting I've got here. And there's some lighting up the top here. Um, I profiled it. I will have profiles for all of these papers available, all the papers I'm testing, when I have the main written P5300 review finished. Um, another image here, another one of my architectural images. Um, yeah, it looks great. Um, it's, it, there's not much more to say about it than that, other than it performs well. Uh, black and white, uh, this is using the ABW print mode. Now, this is nicely neutral. Um, there is some uh, brightener in the paper. This, this is not marketed as an archival paper. So um, you're going to see papers like this, I'm going to suggest more often from people in, uh, in the coming year or two. Um, more people are realising that uh, you know, we don't want plastic paper for stuff quite so much. Uh, the black and white looks excellent. Uh, on this particular printer, I needed to do no adjustments, no adjustment to tone, no adjustment to linearity to print on this. I'm printing using the Premium Luster PLPP 260 setting in this. Any of the Epson Premium Luster settings, if using it on Canon, it will be a similar Canon Luster setting for profiling. Um, obviously, profiles will be available if you're not doing your own, but it's worth knowing just to get an idea. One other little bit of it, uh, these prints, this paper is loaded up in the paper cassette of the P5300. Uh, there is uh, no loading individual sheets. I have put, let's pull it out, and here we have a stack of sheets of the 220 Now, because you have to put it in face down, I've put the sheet of paper that comes in the box at the bottom to protect the surface because you've got print side down when you put it in this because it goes and it reverses. But this takes up to, you can put A2 in this, but I could stack an entire box of 13 by 19 A3 plus paper here. It prints fine. There is no 
um, marks. I've checked the leading edges quite carefully of this, and at 220 gram, the thickness of it, the robustness of it, it works great in the paper feed of this. So there you have it, uh, a sustainable, well, we were going to have to question an awful lot more about printing and sustainability, but this is a useful step along the way. Um, and it makes some nice prints as well. Anyway, just a quick overview there. Um, I've put the specs and everything for it. Have a look for more details in the written notes for the video. If you've got any questions, let me know. Um, to, uh, you know they will give me ideas for other videos. So thanks for watching and bye.